What's up YouTube? So in this video we will see how you can change proxy settings on Safari. So basically I have my Safari browser open on my Mac right now. So if I just go down to Safari and click on preferences. Now over here again I have these different tabs over here from where I can change the settings as I want to. I can just I just need to go on advanced and over here in the proxies it's relatively straightforward. On the proxies it says change settings. Now, what this does basically is that the settings that you change in Safari actually applies to the entire network that you are using right now. So if I click on change settings it takes me to system preferences. Now it will load up system preferences and this is actually showing me the proxy for the network settings in system preferences. So any settings that I make over here will be automatically applied to the network wide. So May that be using Safari browser or some other browser, the proxy will be applied to everything that is connected to internet right now. So that is one thing that it doesn't allow us to configure the proxy only for browser unlike Chrome and Firefox where you can do only browser specific proxies. So to configure proxy again, uh, for example if you are using a web proxy you just need to put that information over here, web proxy server. If it requires login credentials, you can put that over here or leave it as it is. This is the port number. Everything after colon, as you see over here, over here is the code, uh, is the port number. So, for example, if you have the URL over here, and I'm just going to put the HTTP port number 8080. So, um, that is how it works. So, if I, if I want to save it, I just need to click on OK, and that will be saved. Now, to change the settings, it's there in advance in over here. I'm not using any proxy right now, so I'll untick it and then apply. So that will actually apply those settings. So that is one thing that it doesn't apply on Safari alone. It will apply to all the applications that are connected to the internet. So it's basically applying to the entire internet connection on your computer. So that was it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers.